Not too long ago, I did a video about the three reasons why I wanted to say goodbye to Australia and relocate to Ghana, West Africa. I was so eager for the day to arrive and I just couldn't wait to get going. And finally, it happened. I moved to Ghana from Australia after almost 20 years living overseas. So my relocation dream has finally come true. But now that I'm actually here, what do I do? Hi, my name is Koriwa. I am a recent returnee living in Ghana who's trying to find the middle ground to live in my best life here. So I arrived in Accra a couple of weeks ago and there was so much for me to do and so many people to see that kept me pumped and busy. I had a building that I needed to finish off so my family and I could move into. And that was a really satisfying and frustrating process at the same time. Because you see, Ghana throws the good, bad and ugly at you immediately you arrive in the country. You can be so happy at one time because everything seems to be moving on well. And then you can get frustrated right the next minute and feel like you need to strangle someone right there and then because everything starts falling apart around you. And then, just like that, something hilarious happens that gets you laughing your insides out. Because what you witness right then is something you can only experience here in Ghana, which causes you to forget all your frustrations and simply let go. And then the cycle begins all over again. When I first got here, I needed to organize schools for my children, visit close family and friends, figure out how Momo works, find a house help to help us in the house and a driver to drive us around, clear my container from the harbor, receive my other items which I shipped through a door-to-door -door shipment service, make sure my children were settling in well, and finally turn my house into a home. So you see, I was busy for a good couple of weeks. But then the rush finally died down. There is currently not much building work going on because I finished off the house enough to make it habitable for my family and I to move into, even though it's not fully completed. All the organizing this and organizing that is pretty much done. So the other night, while I was dozing off to sleep, I looked up at my beautifully designed ceiling and thought to myself, Korowa, what next? What do I actually do now? The next couple of days were all about thinking long and hard, trying to figure out what path to take now that I am here. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that this is my second attempt at moving to the continent. So I have to get it right. There's no room for ifs and buts. So I asked myself, why am I actually here? And I began the process of reminding myself all over again. One, I want to feel like I'm actually living, not just surviving. I want to exist in a space where I feel I belong, where I matter and where I can actually make a difference. Where my children can thrive and can grow up being proud of who they are and not have to struggle simply because they are different. This is my number one reason, a sense of belonging in a space where quality triumphs over quantity. Two, I want to delve full force into the world of entrepreneurship. I want to build businesses that will thrive and be of service to many. This has been my ultimate dream and my space to do this is right here in Ghana. Now, people have said to me in the past, but Korewa, you can be an entrepreneur in Australia or wherever you find yourself. And while that may be generally true, for me, it is not. Because the problems I want to help solve with my businesses are right here in Ghana. They are here in Africa, not in Australia, not anywhere else, but on this beautiful continent. So yes, the second reason why I want to be here is to embark on my dream of becoming a successful entrepreneur. Now, by reminding myself of the reasons why I so badly wanted to move to Ghana, what I need to do next, now that I'm actually here, has become very clear to me. So the answer to the question, what do I do now that I'm in Ghana, is simple. I need to know and own my why, and I need to have a plan to accomplish my reasons for being here. If I'm going to succeed here, I need to know where I'm going and how I'm going to get there. After all, it is knowing my why and having a plan that got me to Ghana successfully anyway. So my plan is simply this. One, I'm going to reinvent myself here in Ghana. Now for me, reinventing myself simply means becoming a better version of the me that I am today. So this means I need to acquire new habits that will set me up for success here 
including and learning a lot of things the West taught me, which won't serve me here in Ghana, and learning the things that will see me getting ahead. I'm also going to put me first, learn to say no, cut out toxic people from my life, and connect with people that will push and elevate me to become a better person. I'll take better care of my health and most importantly, strengthen my relationship with God. You see, I recognize that all these changes need to happen because moving to Africa and succeeding is not about who you are today. It's not about who you are when you arrive here. It's about who you want to become in Africa and what you are willing to overcome or the price you are willing to pay to get there. So yes, this is the first thing I'm planning to do here in Ghana, reinvent myself. The next thing in my plan is to get serious with my YouTube channel. Up until now, YouTube is something I've done casually. But one thing I have always done is to try and put out meaningful content that can inspire or help in any way, shape or form, however little. And that is not going to change. But the plan is to take YouTube more seriously and treat it as a business. Because if I do that, my channel could potentially grow to provide me with extra income to support my life here in Ghana and hopefully one day even provide extra cash flow for the businesses that I intend to start here. So for you lovely people out there who watch my videos and want to support me, I'm going to continue to serve and inspire you with valuable content and with greater consistency. And I'm counting on you to help me serve you better by watching and liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. So kindly start by liking this video now if you haven't already. Please, please subscribe to the channel, put on the notification and help me reach 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. And let me know in the comment section below what type of videos you'd like to see me make more of. Now, the third thing in my plan is to start my Forever Home project. If you watched the first video in my Building a House series, then you would have heard me introduce the house that I recently built as being a getting started home. So now that I am actually here, it is time to get started on our forever home project. And with the experience that I gathered from building this first home, I feel I'm a bit better informed to handle this larger project. I will be sharing that project with you here on YouTube once it gets started. Getting to work on our forever project will no doubt give me a sense of purpose and fulfillment. And since this is a much larger project, I know there will be a lot to do to keep me occupied for a long time here in Ghana. The next thing in my plan is to get to work on launching the business idea that I've been dreaming of since forever. I know it's always a hard thing to transform your imagination by taking the necessary action to bring your thoughts or vision to life, especially if you have a wild imagination like I do. But I see being in Ghana as a blessing and an opportunity which I don't want to waste. <laughs> this is my time and all I have is right now. So the plan is I'm going to turn my imagination into reality. I will not allow myself to get sidetracked. Instead, I'll remain focused and disciplined. I feel like by moving overseas, I've stalled for close to 20 years. So now I need to accelerate. I am going to start small, but I'm going to keep dreaming big. I'm not going to let my big dreams paralyze me. I'm not going to let other people's perception of my vision dwindle my aspirations. I'm not going to koto or conform. I'm not going to play small to suit anybody. I'm going to do me. And that is the plan. And lastly, I'm going to live life to the fullest, see the opportunity in every experience, good or bad, complain a little when I need to, but not dwell too much on it and make the best of any situation I find myself in here in Ghana. You see, I moved to Ghana to find my purpose and to live with intention. I have no lay down formula or pattern, but I have a why and a plan. So if you are thinking of moving to Ghana, you need to know your why. You need to have a plan and you need to keep on going in the face of all challenges and despite all odds, because that is the key to succeeding and living a meaningful life out here. At the end of the day, we were put on this earth to write our own stories. So that is exactly what I intend to do. What about you? My name is Koriwa and this is where my next chapter begins. Kindly like this video and I will see you in the next.